Hello, good day students. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, we are here in our topic 2 for the uh, theories of crime causation. Okay, let us start. Okay. About last time, okay, since it is just an overview of your uh, uh, lessons during your uh, CRIM 1, I decided not to... Uh, post videos okay very understandable then nakakuha na pod mo ato during your uh introduction to criminology by the way crime 2 is a continuation of the introduction to criminology okay we have here the crime causation it's historical overview okay kani sila these are mga people nga nag study sa crime causation or the first to study about the a crime causation. We have our uh, antique philosophy, okay? We have Aristotle offers a philosophical standpoint on the crime causation who stated that the crime is poverty related and describing poverty as a mother of all revolutions and crime, okay? According to Aristotle daw kuno, the main reason gano kuno ang ang mga tao is keep on committing crime is because of poverty. Okay, as we all know, we are in the third, third poorest country in the entire, okay, in entire world, bakaha or entire Asia. Okay, we are the poorest. So, like, uh, kasagaran nato ang ang level sa criminality is high because of maybe it's because poverty okay according to our total poverty is the main standpoint okay we have here the medi medieval philosophy or the 17th century according to francis bacon criminality will define on social situation he described his standpoint in this sentence opportunity makes a thief bacon pointed out that the human behavior will depend on situation. Okay, opportunity makes up if bacon. Okay, same like as kaantik, maybe wala siya ni, wala siya ni uh, define sa oh, primi, uh, oh, poverty budget, pero ang opportunity to make stiff the same, maragi hapon ang thought ka sa kaantik. Okay, we have here French Renaissance philosophy. The famous encyclopedist Voltaire and how to pronounce this one? Rousseau introduced the concept of free will. Okay, like the classical theory, free will na siya. Crime is the same as hedonistic behavior and failure to f fulfill the social contract obligation. Okay, according to sa French Renaissance philosophy, or according to mga ni Voltaire o ni Rousseau, okay, na kahit mahimo ang crime, it's because of free will. Okay, again, we have to According to antique poverty kunosia according to the uh, Francis Bacon it's because of the opportunity according for the Voltaire or Griseo, it is for the free will okay next okay biological theories okay criminal behavior results from complex interplay of social and biological factors okay okay let us find uh, about the term bio biological and genetic are often confused. Okay, naglibog pa. In part due to the fact that they represent overlapping sources of influence. Okay, ang study of gana bio biological theories is about the physiological, biochemical, neuro neurological, and genetic. Okay, according to your book, okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Biological factors are more inclusive, consisting physiological, biochemical, neurological, and genetic factors. Okay. Ang genetic factors refer to biological factors that are inherited. Okay. Obviously, genetic magani it's about the blood or unsa pamanin yung mga kaliwatan. Okay. Social factors, on the other hand, cannot be inherited. Okay. Ang mga social factors, like for example, ang mga rason, nga, sa for example, sa mga tao, dili, gina ni mo ma-inherit ha, dili na ni mo ka. It's because it's a factor. Okay. 
Okay. Until recently, the majority of the criminological research focused solely on social distribute distributors either minimizing or negotiating uh, neg negating the importance of the genetic and the biolog biological influences. Okay. Evidence for the rule genetic factors in the etiology or criminal behavior carries the assumption that biological factors mediate this relationship okay and biological theory okay it is mainly about genetic okay okay and the crime causation okay the uh we have here the uh biological explanations of criminality okay monig mga early early uh uh, explanation meaning katung mga explanation uh, long time ago which is not really realistic or dili na kaayo na di na nato kaayo ma ma identify whether it is uh it, it is based on reality or maybe it's it's just a study or it's a theory or hypothesis ra okay next we have here the family studies okay with this method they family known to have many criminals was compared with a family free of criminals okay diba during our crime one we have studied different families nga according to study nila is according sa study ang ilaha kunong mga kaliwat is all criminals okay we have here the study of the joke family okay as we have uh discussed during our uh cream one the mother of all criminals is the uh, other joke so meaning ang istadihan is ka ada joke na family okay mahalo ganitong why is it ada joke is considered as the mother of all criminals okay it's because ang iyahang mga kaliwatan or iyang mga previous uh, family tree katong iyang mga kaliwatan are mga criminals maybe they have uh, daily sila pare-pareha og mga crimes but commonly mga heinous crime like for example okay or tra they have traced na 1200 descendants for 7 years we have six, uh, 60 thieves 7 murderers 40 other criminals with sexual diseases mga aids okay Mauna ang study sa family of joke. It was studied by Mr. Richard Dugdale. Or Dugdale, okay. Next, we have here the study of the Kalikak family. Okay, ang, ang study of po sa Kalikak family, uh, ang iha pong genetic uh, federation, okay, mga, uh, we have makaingunta nga, mga feeble-minded, we have, uh, 36 uh, ilid, uh, epileptics, 3 criminal, criminals. Ang uban po, 82 died in infancy. Okay, bata pa sila, nangamatay na sila. According to the study of Henry Goddard. Okay. Uh, okay, we have here next, the study of Sir Jonathan Edwards' family. Okay. Ang uh, Sir Jonathan Edward po nga family, they are criminal in the way that like ang ilaha magong family is mga prestigious prestigious meaning a uh, criminal sila in uh, in a way na for example uh, political sila for example they are governors mean maybe uh, uh, mga famous writers mga supreme court uh specialist mga presidents meaning na criminal sila is because of kana maybe money laundering or kanang manguha sila og kwarta sa mga taxes mao na ang study sa ka, uh, Jonathan Edward again the joke family kat ang ilang ang ilang family is puno og mga mga criminals like mga heinous crimes mga sexual diseases while the study of the Kalikak family kasagaran nila is mga feeble minded then namatay ra or daghan ang daghan ang family members nila nga namatay uh, sa infancy pa, meaning gamay pa sila. Then, the study of Sir Jonathan Edwards, katong mga mga famous mga writers, mga governors, okay. In other way, pod. Okay, next we have here the twin behavior studies, okay. This method is that if there, 
is greater similarity in behavior between identical twins than the bit uh, than between fraternal twins. The study must be due to heredity. Okay. Uh, ang 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 usana if ang kan imo ko nung identical twins meaning mga kambal mo according to this study if uh, ang identical twins ko no more for example identical twins ug ang imuha ko nung kambal is criminal also you will be become criminal mo na ang uh, twin behavior study sa biological explanation okay maybe it is not uh acceptable in our generation today wala siya gi-adapt na study okay next we have here the adoption studies okay adoption meaning this method compared to criminal records of adopted children who were adopted at relatively early age with the criminal records of adopted parents okay according to the study for example your adopted child of a criminal criminal parents meaning ikaw kuno pud mahimo pud ang ang ilang behavior imo kuno pong ma-adapt if gi-adapt ka nila bata pa ka like for example gi-adapt ka na ho i am a criminal i am a, i am your parents criminal ko gi-adapt gaad gi-adapt ko og bata okay uh, during young age pa ak na ko gi gi-adapt ini kada ko kuno ana pod ang usa kuno poy ako ang behavior makuha ko na pod sa adopted children like the okay <laughs> okay next we have here the y x y y super male studies okay the ro the rule of chromosomes in the crime causation has been analyzed in recent studies of human genetics okay according to this we have here the first well known study of this type was undertaken by Patricia A. Jacob, okay, a British researcher who examined 197 Scottish prisoners for chromo chromosomal abnormalities through a relatively simple blood test known as karyotyping, okay, mga lalaki, because males tend to have to show that super females okay are taller than the average male okay murag ay ang study ani is about ang unsay unsay ah uh, mga uh, ang mga kayang buhaton sa mga laki okay we have here also physiognomy okay physiognomy it is not stated here but physiognomy again is the study of the facial features of a person okay in relation to his criminal behavior di ba naka-discuss na kuan na kung imo pong il de depende daw sa size sa are depende sa shape sa imong nawo ang imong behavior okay we have also here the phrenology on craniology okay the external formation sa imong skull basin imong skull triangle or sa ba square and also the body types okay akatong mga ekto meso i already discussed it to you okay okay since we are done i think it is oh wait na pa dai what is deterrence okay it is an act of preventing a criminal act be before it occurs through the threat of the punishment okay usab nang crime deterrence ug meaning kita crime deterrence meaning ana how to deter meaning how to uh, stop or unsaon nimo pagpa uh, dili Uh, okay, for example, na ay crime mahita bo as a police officer on sa may angay, uh, anak nga area is a crime prone area on sa may buhaton sa mga uh, police officer in order to deter or to listen criminality. Okay, maybe magpatrolya sila ilang ipakuha ng police visibility, okay, or the mobile visibility. Okay, types of deterrence. We have here the specific deterrence. It is aimed to be wrongdoer and tries to deter him from crime by punishing him. Okay, it's very understandable. General deterrence aimed by everyone. It deters everyone from crime by punishing the criminal and establishing an example. Yes, and routine activities theory. This theory suggests that Crime is a product of people's daily activities influenced by a number of factors that can be become a motivation motivation behind crime. Okay. okay. It is very understandable. Okay. What is retribution? Retribution is the notion that a wrongdoer should be forced to pay back or compensate for his or her uh, 
criminal acts. Like for example, long time ago, according to study, if na ada, for example, katong, if na ada ay, for example, na ay nang rape, okay. Muna na gitawag o retaliation theory mo to gitawag o an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, o tooth. Meaning, kung unsa ay, unsa ay gikuha ni mo, maopoy kuha, maopoy i, maopoy kuha on sa iyo. For example, kung sa iyo, dahi patay niya iyang ginikanan, okay. Ang pat yun po imo in exchange is your ginikanan. Pero now, it is uh, a sanction. Okay, for example, nakapatay ka. Well, you have you have to suffer the sanction. You have to uh, put in jail for almost reclusion perpetua baka ha, or, or a minimum penalty or the maximum penalty mo na retribution. Okay. Okay, it, it is the end of the show. Let's party, party. Okay. Anyway, you have to study this one, this topic, for the uh, topic 2.0, for we are going to have a quiz afterwards. Okay. Thank you, and that would be all. Bye-bye. God bless. Keep safe, everyone.